Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Kantai Handmade Crochet. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to work on some crochet slippers and I have this Red Heart Category 4 yarn. Um, the color is a perfect pink and it is a, a medium 4 category 4 yarn and it uses a 5.5 millimeter hook but today we're going to use a 5 millimeter hook so let's begin okay so we're going to start off with a slip knot if you do not know how to do a slip knot you can chain 5 and then slip stitch into your first stitch to make your circle so I'm going to make this magic circle really quickly. Once you've made your magic circle, go ahead and chain two. Make sure that tail is on the top before you begin. Now we're going to make nine half double crochets into this circle here. For my beginners, to make a half double crochet, you yarn over, go into that loop and pull up a loop. That just means to grab your yarn and pull it through the loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull your hook through all three of those loops. That first chain does not count as a double crochet, a half double crochet. So make nine half double crochets into this loop here. And we will continue on. Okay, so now I have my nine half double crochets. I'm just going to pull on that tail to draw everything together and get a nice closed circle in the middle. So the next we're going the next thing we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet and we'll continue on. In your reverse row, you should have nine half double crochets going around. Now chain one and go back into that next stitch with two half double crochets into the first stitch. We are increasing and this is row two. So in your first half double crochet, make two half double crochets. In your next one, you're going to make one half double crochet. In the next, I'm sorry, you're making two half double crochets each in each stitch. So go around into each half double crochet from the previous row and make two half double crochets. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. Go ahead and slip stitch into your first half double crochet and chain one. Now we're going to increase. You should have 18 double crochet, half double crochets going around. If you want to have a thicker yarn, just go ahead and double up your yarn. Once you've made your single crochet, go into your first stitch with two half double crochets. In your next stitch, you're going to make one half double crochet. In the next stitch, you're going to make two half double crochets. So that is your pattern. In your first half double crochet, you make two half double crochets. In the next one, you make one. In the next one, you make two. And the next one, one. So you just repeat this going all the way around. Two, one, two, one. And then I'm going to meet you back at the end of the row and we'll continue from there. Okay, so I'm at the end of row three. I'm going to put my last half double crochet in here and go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch. Now, if you need to make this a little wider, you can go to row four and increase with row four. With row four, you would go in your first stitch with two, double, two half double crochets, one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and two in the next stitch. So that would be, it would be for row four. Two in the first stitch, one, two in the next two, uh, one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then two uh, half double crochets, I said single crochet, we're doing half double crochets. So if that's what you want to do, go ahead and increase again in row four. 
I'm going to stop here because my toes will fit in this section here. As always, when you're making socks or slippers or anything like that, you want to continue to measure your foot and make sure that it's fitting properly. So now go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch because from here, from row four to row nine, we're just going to make half double crochets going all the way around. Nothing too complicated, no increasing, no decreasing, just one half double crochet into each stitch. So I've chained one. And I'm going to go back into my first stitch with a half double crochet and just make one half double crochet going all the way around from row four up to row nine. When you get back to your first stitch for each row, make sure that you are slip stitching into that first stitch. So I will meet you back when I have when I'm at row nine. Now I'm at the end of the row and I ended up with 16 rows so you can go up to 9, have 9 rows and then go ahead and try it on and see how that fits. I am an 8.5 so I needed 16 rows of my half double crochets. So now we're going to work on the back portion. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and chain 1. We're going to work on the heel part. So I'm going to make 15 half double crochets going across. That's one, two, and I'm going to speed up so I can get past this section here. Okay. That gave me 15. I have my 15 half double crochets. We're working on the heel. So what you want to do now is once you get to your last double crochet, go ahead and chain one and turn your work. You're going to do about 10 rows. Try about 10 rows first. And then if you need to, you can adjust it and add more rows. But I'm going to continue on. I've chained one and turned my work. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth with some half double crochets. I'm going to do about 10 rows first and see what it looks like from there. And we'll continue from there. Okay, so I'm back. And I only needed to make six rows instead of 10. Again, everyone's foot is different. So you want to continue to measure and try on your sock as you go along. So now what we're going to do is we're going to continue making our way up the back of that heel. I've already chained one and now I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to make some more half double crochets. So now I'm going to go across with eight half double crochets going across. One, two, three four, fold that towards the back, and you're going to go into both stitches, both of those half double crochets, and you're going to make a single crochet. Make sure you're going through both of those loops, and just keep going all the way across with a single crochet. You should have eight single crochets going all the way across. Make sure that you're going into both stitches in the front and in the back. Fairly easy. You can slip stitch if you want to. You don't have to make a single crochet. You can slip stitch if you want to. So now I'm at the last stitch here and I'm going to make this single crochet. And that's what the heel should look like. Now I'm going to tie off, but I'm going to show you what that looks like when you turn it right side out. And that is what your sock looks like. That's what your slipper looks like. So I just want to show you really quickly what it's like on my foot. So it's nice and it's not too tight and it's not too loose. That back there is where you made those single crochets. And now you can just come around with some single crochets. I just want to show you what that looks like what it should look like on your foot and in the front or going all the way around I'm going to make a row of single crochets and you can continue making your way up if you want to to make it longer but I'm going to stop here and continue on 
So now that you have all of your double crochets lined up, we're going to now, I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut off my yarn here and pull that through. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to come around with some single crochets, but I want to do it on the correct side. So now go into your stitch right where you made that slip stitch and add your yarn and make your single crochets going all the way around. You want to go into each row of those double crochets. I mean, sorry, half double crochets that you made going around. Just go into every hole. Don't skip any holes because you want your holes to be nice and close together. So I'm going to speed this part up here and I'm going to meet you back at the beginning. And there's the tip of the shoes. And this is the back. And as you can see, that line, your slip stitch line is at the bottom of the foot, which I love because I hate that line. And so let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what the slippers look like when you're wearing them. This is the side view. I went around with some rows of single crochets just to top it off a little bit. And you can come up a little higher if you want to. Please excuse my scary legs, my hairy legs. I do not shave. But as you can see, they fit really, really great. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Gamtai Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye-bye.